Okay, today we are talking about the Vortex Optics Recon RT 15 by 50 power. This is a monocular, so fits in one hand, nice and easy. As they, the focusing knob is easy to touch. See, it's got these little paddles on each, I don't know, what's that, four? Four paddles on there. So every 90 degrees, you can kind of get the, the focus done when it's up against your eye. I wear glasses, so I keep the eye cup flat, but if you don't and you want to get it up close to your eye, just flip that in there and block out all the ambient uh, surrounding lights. Um, but like I said, I wear glasses, so I pull it down and leave it like this and just butt it right up against my glasses. Uh, it's got a lanyard holes here, so if you want to put it on your neck, that's fine. Uh, what I really like is this little belt clip. What I was doing, you've seen this probably in other videos of mine, but basically when I'm shooting something that doesn't have a 15 power scope and I'm sighting it in, especially when I'm shooting like 22s or something that has uh, really small bullet holes, just flip this bad boy up to my eyes, check my target and see where I'm at. In a, in a pinch, you can use it as a spotting scope for um, a shooter next to you. It's very light. It's, I mean, it's obviously a lot smaller than a, a regular spotting scope, but it does have um, the different bipod or, or not sorry not bipod but tripod or mounting screws here so I've mounted this to a quarter 20 uh, mount and had it up there I don't have a really good bipod so it's, it's a little less than ideal but I have used it uh, as you've seen in some of my other videos using a Primo's shooting stick that had a little rifle rest in it just shove this down on the rifle rest to steady it and get behind it just like it was a rifle works really good uh, the what's really special about this I mean there's a lot of things, out, a lot of monoculars out there or binoculars, whatever uh, flavor you want. But the best thing about this is it's reticle. And I can't really show you the reticle easily, so I'm doing the old school method here and giving you the uh, way it works here. So it's a mill, it's a milling reticle. So you see that the, it has these little men shaped targets in the bottom corner here. And what they correspond to is you fit an average man in there, an average man they're calling 20 inches wide, 31 inches tall from the from this line up, 14 inches from the head, shoulder to arms, 17 inches. And if you could fit them in here, that gives you a rough estimation of distance without doing any other work. So average guy, if he fits uh, this one here, he's probably at 300 meters, this one four, five, and 600 meters. It also has, it, it's, it's offset, so it's not quite center to center like a scope reticle. It's a little bit offset, so it gives you a little bit more room here if you want to look at an unobstructed view. Uh, you, can, you can use these subtension details to uh, run the math and get an actual distance. If you know the size or if you know the distance, you can figure out the size based on this. Um, it's a little more than this video can do, but there are, there are formulas out there. We learned them at the uh, long range classes I've taken and it works but what this does too is you can look and um, what i did in an article or a, a video recently was shot the gun and i could see through this that i was two mils low dial in two mils because the scope i was using was also a mill a milling scope just dial it right up and i was pretty much right on the next time so you can also use this for calling shots when you're using it as a spotter if your shooter is shooting and you're watching through this and they uh shoot you know, six mils right, you can see that and, and really judge it properly instead of just saying, well, it's about, you're about three and a half feet off the right. That's not very helpful. When you when you see these these numbers and you can see the impacts where you line that up on the target and you see that they're, they're impacting way over here or way up here, you can give them actual numbers because they may not have seen it. So you're watching it, you can see it, works really good. Uh, it's a fantastic handheld scope, uh, monocular. Uh, it's, I think it's right around six ninety nine MSRP. So look on the street prices. I'll put a link uh, in the show notes or in the in the video notes to show you where I've seen it cheap. But uh, it's been fantastic. I, I love it a lot. Uh, when I'm using it on the range, I just clip it right to my front pocket, and it's right there, ready to go, like a holstered item there. So super fantastic. Vortex Recon RT 15 by 50. They also make this in a 10 power. I did the 15 power just because I thought it'd be a little bit better, but if you need 10 power, they also have a 10 power. So milling reticle, can't beat it. Um, anything else you need to know, let me know.